Falcons running back Warwick Dunn uh, has built a career based on the principles of character and integrity. But Michael exemplifies teamwork. Not even a broken hand can slow him down. You can add Hudson and Jones <laughs> to a long and oh, growing Corey, list. Corey's been busy injured, with the Sharpie tonight. Injured Braves. <laughs> Uh, there's the long list. So sometimes as fans of college football, we kind of forget about these guys being student athletes. And of course, many of these Georgia Bulldogs take the student portion of student athlete very seriously. As the actress playing Hillary Clinton was able to keep her wig on throughout the entire contest. The match was called a draw when a John McCain impersonator finished off Clinton with a figure four leg lock and Obama with a vertical suplex. I'm Corey Anderson. I know just, nothing about wrestling. There's just something oh, wrong about Obama's that. Obama's ears, that was ridiculous. Yeah, we, was they, they had some big Samoan come in there and finish everything off, but finish they should have had John McCain. John McCain there finished that off. All right, thank you, Corey. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. You know, over 92,000 fans made it into Sanford Stadium to watch today's game against Auburn and Georgia. But no doubt, this was one tough ticket. Official game day program. Ain't big dogs, I'm just Georgia dogs. There you go. Another Saturday in Athens. Yes. But this week's Good opponent night. puts ticket prices at a premium. What are they going for? Three. Three? We're 136, which is the you got it. Yeah, and, I walk, and I'll walk you up and let you see the map before you buy. We did a little undercover work of our own. 300 for a pair, where are they at? 336 for a four. And while we didn't find any counterfeit tickets. How do I know they're not counterfeit? I'll walk into the gate. They'll go to hologram, sir. As you look for the hologram on the ticket, you make sure it says authentic and CAA, and you move it like that, and if it does flash, you know it's legitimate. Ticket, 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 ticket. Scalpers are hoping to cash in, while fans are hoping not to get robbed. I mean, they look authentic. That's it. I don't know anything about it. I made, right it may be fake tickets. I sure hope they're not. UGA officials went so far as to put out a warning this week for Where fans to be on the lookout for counterfeit tickets. We uh, we know what they look like, so we're watching the, for the counterfeit tickets. Go! Fans paid attention but were not deterred from breaking the bank to get in the gate. Do you mind me just asking how much you guys paid? Too much. Okay? Too much. But uh, hey, should be a great game. Certainly a good game if you were a Georgia fan today. Of course, they win 45 20. Uh, tickets on average, about 150 bucks was the average on the street for tickets that go for a face value of only 40 bucks. Mark and Nick, back to you guys in the studio. We begin tonight by just putting it simply. It's the end of an era as the Falcons are now seeking trade partners for the contractual rights to embattled quarterback Michael Vick. In a statement on the team's website earlier today, Falcons general manager Thomas Dimitrov said, quote, we feel a trade is the best move for the Falcons and it's also the best interest of Michael. NFL rules allow teams to trade the contractual rights of suspended players. As you may know, Vic has yes, yet to be released from custody or reinstated to the NFL. The Falcons could use an additional cornerback, safety, or defensive lineman in April's draft. However, there may not be much of a market for a guy that has missed two years and is due $9 million next season. Dimitrov says the Falcons will reevaluate if they cannot find a trade partner. Check the CBSAtlanta.com homepage for more details. All right, well, the Hawks' Joe Johnson plans to horse around at the NBA All-Star festivities in Phoenix. Recently, Joe said he'd shoot President Obama's lights out in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Instead, it's a game of horse, not against the president. That guy's kind of busy dealing with the economy right now, but against O.J. Mayo and Kevin Durant. It's just like the playground version. First one to miss a shot gets a letter. If you get all five letters in the word, you're eliminated. You're out of there. A game of horse for the first time ever at the NBA All-Star game. All right, Mayo and Durant will also be participating along with the Hawks' Al Horford in the NBA Rookie Challenge. Last year they were on the rookie side. This year they're going to be taking the floor for the sophomores. Horford is playing in this game Saturday despite missing 12 games for the Hawks with a knee injury. We're going to come out here and, 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 and we're going to play team ball. We're going to get it done. The sophomores are going to take care of business. And, and you know about East Snow, everybody uh, has their choice. <laughs> a lot of people are picking the rooks, but it, it's up to us to go prove Tell them wrong. Why.
Well, Richard Guerin and some guy by the name of Michael Jordan are among 16 finalists for election into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Guerin was a six-time All-Star and a player coach for the Hawks from 1968 to 1970. This Jordan guy, a 14-time NBA All-Star, playing for the Bulls and Wizards, five-time NBA MVP, six-time NBA Finals MVP, need I go on? Well, he was at the University of North Carolina, was a two-time All-American. He won a national title. Guy has no chance. Yeah, right. Just kidding. Coming up tomorrow on Sportsline Saturday, a special sit-down interview as Gil Tyree takes on Gary Payton and Chris Weber and a little two-on-one at NBA.tv. Also, CBS Atlanta's Mark Harmon is in Orlando for Braves Spring Training. Hey, speaking of Braves spring training, isn't it kind of convenient that the pitchers and catchers get to report on Valentine's Day? <laughs> wonder how the wives feel about that. I'm Corey Anderson. <laughs> Stephanie Fisher, what if your husband was reporting on Valentine's Day? Hey, at least he's a major league player, right? Many say it's a cop-out. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you ladies There decide. are other yeah. perks. There yes. Are other, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Absolutely. Corey. Thanks.